Hi there, let's compare in this video which is the best option, NA10, Make or Zapier. By the way, I am NA10 user and I have used all other apps like Make and Zapier and this is my honest review. Uh, by the way, down below in the description is a link, affiliate link to NA10. I'm not creating this video because uh, NA10 gonna pay me by the affiliates or NA10 have me paid something. This is my honest opinion by using all of them tools and this will be my review. Consider to subscribe this channel or let me know what you like in this video or you don't like it. Leave a thumbs up or thumbs down and also consider to subscribe. Okay. Let's compare all the prices. And here you can see a graph that I have found actually on N8N website. They have created, and let's a little bit discuss what you can see here. Here you can see on the ZX operations per month, 20,000 up to 100,000 operations. And by these operations, I guess they are mentioning or referring to uh, workflow. And here you can see the prices. NA10 is the cheapest one if we using 100,000 operations. And here is the make plan if you use the basic and it's around 100 euros. Here's if you use all features that it's 300 euros and the Zapier is the most expensive one. But this is my own comparison by building three different scenarios and let's dive in and discuss. So here we can see the cheapest plan for the Zapier starts from $25. Make has $18, but also one of plan is $10, but it's useless. And N8N starts with 25. Also, here is a, a good example. How does it look like when we have five nodes in a workflow or five zaps, I guess in Zapier, this is like five zaps. And how much are gonna cost we if we run this 50,000 times? So let's take, this is a workflow and five nodes. This is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth node. And if we run this workflow 50,000 times, how much is it gonna work? How much is it gonna cost? On Zapier, it's gonna cost a little bit more than $1,000. On the Make, it's gonna cost you $600. And on N8N, it's gonna cost $154. And let's take the same workflow, but I would have 10 nodes and it's gonna have also 50,000 executions. So that's me, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the 10th node. And also you can see here is running a loop. I will explain a little bit later why I'm this pointing out. But anyways, if you have 10 nodes, 10 zaps on the Zapier running 50,000 executions, it's $1,500. On the make it's $900 and on N8N it's still $155. Why? It's actually a very simple answer because Zapier is charging per every, every node is like an action or I don't know how they're calling it right now because they changed the plans or the namings. But anyways, whenever you have one node, it's one action and you pay per actions. And um, in N8N you pay per workflow. So whenever it goes straight from the left to the right side goes all the workflow. It's one workflow, but if it's go in the loop, it steals a one workflow. For example, here it can do the query. Let's say there's 500 items and it will run 500 times till it, the workflow is executed. So it's one execution. Whenever something breaks, something in workflow, then the workflow stops and it counts like a one workflow. So in other Make and Zapier, they just charge you per. So this is a huge advantage for N810. And let's discuss other few small things that I like about N810 is the N810 is only one platform that you can self host. If you don't know what the self hosting is literally that you can actually install on your machine doesn't care Windows, Linux or Mac OS through the let's say through the Docker and run it. The uh, biggest advantage is that you can do it yourself, run it. I if you have some heavy workflows you can run on your machine. I got in the self hosting actually due to N8 and couldn't handle my workflow because it has 30,000 action items coming in from the database and it was really loaded. I cannot reduce the load and it was crashing all the time, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen the same for you. But N8N support suggests me, hey man, if you have this machine, you have this MacBook Pro, you can actually self-host and it will be much cheaper because their enterprise plan was really actually expensive. But it doesn't refer that you will have the same issue. I have very specific workflow. 
And uh, yeah, and thanks to the NA10, I got in the self-hosting thing. And another thing is, let's compare about the JavaScript editor. Zapier has integrated it. Make doesn't have, but it's have some, something similar. And NA10 has built-in JavaScript editor. So NA10 and, and Zapier have a JavaScript editor. And JavaScript actually is a very cool thing because you can ask ChatGPT, hey, write me this uh, JavaScript code, which will do this and that. And then e you can integrate this inside your workflow and a lot of magic can happen. So JavaScript is actually a really powerful a tool that you can use and it's very important. About the Python. Python has Zapier. Make also has Python, but not fully operated. And NA10 has uh, Python working. I'm not using that much Python. I mostly use JavaScript, it's enough for me. Error handling, Zapier don't have it. Zapier just sends you some kind of emails and this and that, you, you have this issue and that issue. But with the make and N8N, you can have error handling by managing the errors, seeing the logs, a lot of other things that help you more understand what's happening with your workflows, why it's crashing. And also you can create a rules like it stop the workflow and it stop executions if happening like this and that. And also you can notify some instances if this or some kind of other error occurs. Let's talk about the pricing models. Appear and Make has the worst pricing model because they charge per each individual operation, but NA10 charge per workflow. And there's doesn't care how many nodes are in a workflow. I have even workflows where it's 25, 30 nodes inside and it still works really great. And yeah, the pricing is the best. And another thing is about exporting, importing workflows, which is really crucial when you want to move from one platform to another one or move from one instance to another instance or share the workflow with your friends, colleagues, etc. Zapier doesn't support this. So let's say you have created some specific workflow on your company's profile and then you want to move to another company's or your own company's or your personal account. It's impossible. Another thing would make, and I, yes, you have it. You can import a file, which is like a template. And even you can check out down below in the description of this video, my templates, you can download them, install them and use it. So that's actually pretty much it. I hope you get something out of this video and you right now can consider which is the best platform for you. Another thing what I haven't included in this video, it's my personal note that I like the most in N8N compared with uh, Make is the Titan user friendly. I like the UX of it's much easier to understand for newbies. For me, when I was starting out, make was a little bit too hard to understand. It was like Windows 95, 98. You have so much coming out from them, some kind of arrays and objects, and you actually don't understand what you can put where, and it was really hard. And also the node overview is in the make a little bit better in sense that you can make them smaller, bigger, but actually in it's easier to understand because the icons is better. It's like more a small piece. Um, it doesn't personal preference. Another thing is really great community on their own forum and also Discord channel where they, you can ask questions and get a feedback and yeah. And also they host cool events online and offline. So yeah, this is my opinion, but when using Zapier is better and I don't want to make this video about that N10 is the best. Also, Zapier is good to using if you have a little bit amount of work to do. If you need to just put somewhere some data from one place to another place, or just you have 100, 200 like small automations to run every single month, Zapier for you is much, much better. But when you need to move data that is a little bit more like heavier and the volume is much higher, then I suggest to go for a make. Or N8N. And yes, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Have a nice one.